fifth. We're underway in period one. And the Griffins quickly with a two on one. Across, here's Polkinen right in front of the net. Whoa. Empty net score! <laughs> Mitch Callahan on a feed from Timo Polkinen. 10 seconds into the hockey game. And the Griffins, Larry, have an early, and a very early one that upping lead. Ice Hogs will steer it away to center. Look out, they got numbers. Here's Regan across that line. They walk right in front and a chance and they oh. score. What a shot there by Matt Carey. Who lights the lamp for the second time this season. And just like that, we are tied up at one apiece. Ice Hogs with it a feed to Ross. He got his stick, a stick whacked out of his hands looking for a call. Uh, now look out in the slot of drive oh, and the, no. they score. Nordstrom on a one-timer from the slot, blows it past McCullum with a minute 16 to go. And the Griffins trail two to one. And that's gonna do it. Ice Hogs clear it, and the Griffins are 0-3 at home. Tough with the power play, it seemed like tonight, that's, that's part of the big story. Yeah, power play is a big difference in the game. But, uh, hell, working out, fine-tuning, we're still, you know, it's, good that it's kind of a make or break thing, and we didn't get one on the power play, so it's, it's, a, it's a difference maker, but there's, there's a lot of, Finer things we need to tune up as well to make the difference of when they take games like that. For example? Yeah, I mean, just, just simple things. I think, uh, you know, pucks in the wall, uh, D zone, we've been struggling in the D zone, things we're working on, and, and things you want to write uh, and correct in a hurry here. It's weird, you know, you guys win three on the road, and then, you know, this is the second game that I would imagine that nobody would say that you played your best. Um, any explanations? You know, there's. There's not explanations, you know, you don't offer excuses, you just you just kind of, you know, you try and put it behind you. This is, I mean, this one's things because, you know, within the last minute almost, and uh, but it's, it's things you got to learn from, you know, we're going to be in these situations again with the uh, tie game in a minute, and, uh, you know, you can't sit there and dwell on it, you got to, you know, correct your mindset, and, you know, next time you're in that situation, be better, right? I thought five on five and on our penalty kill, we, we played pretty well overall. I think we can play better. I think we are still not quite hard enough at times um, on the puck and not quite as tight defensively as we need to be, but that's also a really good team on their side. Um, but I thought five on five and on the penalty kill, we played good. So the power play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, um, you know, we had lots of opportunities on the power play and obviously a uh, great opportunity in the third with a five on three and you got to execute and score. If you don't score at those times, then you leave uh, you leave it to chance, and uh, we miss. You know, we just made a misplay at the end, and then it's in your net. But that doesn't matter if we had scored twice in the power play; the game would have been over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thomas played really well. I thought. I thought Tommy did a real good job. I thought he uh, he made a couple of huge saves. I thought in the third. And again, they're a real talented team. So, um, you know. It, you know, I thought at times in the second half of the game looked like a playoff game. Uh, and that's a level of intensity and the level of talent that's out there. But um, I thought Tommy did a really good job.